Hey, what's up, everybody? So the Tristan Thompson trade has been revised. It's been revised. Um, so now the Sacramento Kings are now involved. The Sacramento Kings are going to send DeLon Wright to the Atlanta Hawks. And they're also going to uh, be sending, uh, let's see, the Bruno Fernando is going, Bruno Fernando, excuse me, is going to be going to the uh, Celtics along with the 23rd pick, um, in no 23rd pick second pick in the 2023 draft you follow me um and they will also be taking back chris dunn so chris dunn bruno fernando and the second round pick to celtics uh delon wright is headed to uh atlanta and tristan thompson is headed to sacramento um so so my thinking here is not surprised i told you guys tristan thompson was never going to put on a hawks uniform told everybody that he was not going to put on a Hawks uniform. They didn't have a role for him. Um, Bruno Fernando is a center that the Celtics can add to the mix. Another young center. Now they have three in that trio of uh, he, uh, Moses Brown, and Time Lord. Um, Time Lord's going to be the starter there. So uh, they have they have a nice trio of young guys that they can have a rotation that can do, do some things. Bruno Fernando is a unique player. I think he can stretch the floor. So that's an interesting dynamic for the Boston Celtics. I love DeLon Wright going to the Atlanta Hawks. He should probably still be with the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> they should have never traded him in the first place. Uh, but they traded him to Sacramento in a trade um, at the deadline last summer. And that was just a weird dynamic for obvious reasons with Sacramento. Uh, because they have already a bunch of guards in the mix. So having him a very productive breakout guard last year with the Detroit Pistons. Uh, having him go to the Sacramento Kings was just a horrible, horrible fit for him. Uh, so this kind of gets him into a position to where he can go to Atlanta and kind of um, have a little more of a uh, more of a traditional role playing behind Trey Young and playing a little two guard there. Um, it's not a, an ideal fit for him there either, to be completely honest with you. But he's one of those guys where you're not sure you want him starting as your starting point guard. But he can be very, very productive as the, in the position that I just described. So uh, pretty much you can say this is going to be a very good role. He's a defensive guy. He's, a high, like I said, highly productive, aggressive player, uh, combo guard uh, who, who's, who excels on the defensive end. Um, came up under Rick Carlisle uh, as far as, uh, you know, who was, who was his coach in Dallas and who, who really kind of taught him how to become the player that he ultimately is, I believe, in. You know he's going to be heading to Atlanta, um, where where I think he'll be able to thrive and win, because we know Atlanta is a good team as of right now. So um, they get a piece that they can actually work with. You know, as I said, Tristan Thompson, there was no role for him, but I think with this guy, Delon Wright, there will be a legitimate role for him to play, and uh, he will boost their defense quite a bit. So, and I look at uh, what Sacramento's doing. Um, you know, Rashawn Holmes is going to be a difficult player for them to retain because I think he's looking for more money than they're looking to pay him. So there may be a role for Tristan Thompson to play a little center there in Sacramento. Uh, I would not be surprised if he is waived there as well, but I think they're in a much better position to give him a role than the Atlanta Hawks were. So I'm optimistic that this can go a million different ways. I still think that he'll end up a Laker when it's all said and done, but maybe Sack holds on to him to start this season. Um, so that's what I think of the trade. That's what I think of it. As I told you guys uh, in one of the videos that I made recently, trades can be revised. You know, as long as there are free agents involved in any of these trades, uh, if, if, if the, the deadline for or the beginning for the situation uh, to be finalized is the sixth, like the Laker trade for Russell Westbrook, then chances are just like that trade, things can be added to it and subtracted from it uh, all the way up until that date. So, um, We'll see. We'll see if the Tristan Thompson trade gets revised revised once again. But, you know, um, all in all, you know, just just basically what I thought was going to happen. I didn't think Atlanta wanted to take on Tristan Thompson or his contract. And I figured they would try, probably try to find a way to get from out from under it. Rather than to stretch it or wave it, they found a third team. And uh, Sacramento was able to get out from under DeLon White's contract. As to which, they open up a little breathing room for those three headed monster super guards that they have in sack to not have to worry about also DeLon Wright being a part of that mix as well. So um, 
just a little more ba uh, roster balance for all three of these teams, to be honest. So that's what I see there. Yep, that's what I got. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Media44. I'm out.